So your Samsung washer is spinning and shaking all over the place, causing it to turn off. Or it's causing it to spin, fill full of water, spin, fill full of water, and repeat over and over without stopping. If this is the model number you have on yours, you're in the right place. See how this machine is running smoothly? It's not shaking, it's running like a diesel engine. It's not wobbling back and forth. This is what uh, my machine looked like after I fixed it. So what should probably happening is getting some codes, either a DC code or a UE code for uneven, and it's bouncing back and forth and causing it to either stop or causing it to uh, do a cycle where it'll spin. It'll start to rinse again and spin over and over without stopping. So I'm going to show you two ways to fix it. Um, the first way is going to be to tighten a bolt that's uh, at the bottom of the drum. And then the other method is to repair um, the uh, stabilizer rods. Um, I have a little way to, a uh, cheap way to fix the springs because the springs begin to get weak and that's why it wobbles. Or you can buy these, buy four new of them, four new ones for about uh, 70 bucks. But I'm going to show you a cheaper way so we don't have to buy these uh, stabilizer rods. So what you're looking at right here is the bottom of the drum of uh, the uh, washer. And uh, so this is like, this is, has the, uh, um, the, the gears at the bottom and see this thing right here, that is the spring and there's four of them, um, one on each side. And so those become worn out and that's what causes it to shake. And the reason that it'll uh, turn off or it'll cause the issue where it begins to rinse and fill over and over um, is because there's a clutch on this. And if you look right there, that's the clutch. And what happens is it'll shift gears to allow this thing to agitate when it's cleaning. And then when it's time to spin, it'll shift again, so it'll spin completely. But when it starts to uh, shake too much, that clutch will shift over to the agitate mode, and then it'll cause it to want to fill full of water. And then what you'll get is like a spin uh, rinse over and over. So here's the first step what I'm gonna show you. Um, right there usually mine mine's pretty old there's a plastic cover right there you have to pop off and then we're going to remove this bolt right here and when you remove it you have to kind of hold on to this bottom plate right here because it's going to want to spin um and get in there and uh loosen that bolt once you loosen it you can take a screwdriver and it's kind of difficult to do um you gotta get it on there kind of pry and pop it up to take this thing off and that's going to uh expose you, um, expose that, that nut that you need to tighten down there. So um, you just take that thing off, sit it to the side. And there's a trick to this. So when you tighten this, it's not righty-tighty, lefty-loosey, it's opposite. You need to turn it left to tighten it. Just the way this drum spins, it's a it, it tightens in an opposite direction. So um, this time I went to check it and it was a little loose, not too loose, but it was a little loose. So I just went in with a wrench and uh, um, tightened this uh, bolt up uh, snug. Um, but I think the majority of the issue was coming from the guide rods, which you're gonna see next. So once I tightened this bolt, I just went ahead and uh, put, her, put her back on. And this, this uh, washer I've had for about five years, so it's kind of dirty. So let me show you. So this is how I'm gonna fix the uh, stabilizing rods and toughen up the spring. I end up uh, wiring some garden hose around the spring. So what I do is I get some garden hose. I had some spare garden hose out in the backyard that I cut up. I'm gonna cut up uh, eight pieces because I need two pieces to wrap around each spring. Um, take the pieces and cut them right down the middle. And once I have those all cut, then I'm going to uh, wrap them around the spring. Um, to expose the springs, uh, what you have to do is lay the washer down. I like to lay a towel down get the washer laid down so you can see where the springs are. So here are the springs, it's pretty tight in there when you lay it down. I'm gonna show you another part in this video how you can uh, pull the top off and pull these uh, um, stabilizer rods completely out and it'll be a little bit easier to um, put this rubber on here. So, um, so I go up to each spring, I got my rubber hose that I cut down the middle wrap it around, I'll wrap two around there. Um, once I get both of them on there, I took some wire and wired as tight as I could the hose onto the spring. Um, it was pretty tight in there to do, difficult to do. 
You could also get some zip ties. I probably would have used zip ties, but I didn't have any. I didn't want to go to the store. So I ended up taking a piece of wire and wiring it down just as um, tight as possible. And that toughens the spring. You'll be amazed at the difference it makes once you have uh, um, this hose attached to all four springs. So now let me show you how to take the top off if you want to uh, pull the uh, stabilizer rods out. This will also show you how to replace them completely if you buy, end up buying them. So, so after I take those bolts off um, in the back, take a putty knife and then loosen this up and get a screwdriver and pop that thing off. Yeah, look how dirty this thing is. I've had it for like four years. So uh, once you get the top off, you got the four stabilizer rods. You reach down and uh, grab the rod and you just have to pull up on it and kind of pop it out of this groove and then down at the bottom it'll it'll pop up down there in the tub and then you can pull the whole thing out um, and then it's easier to wrap your rubber hose around the springs um, to to apply your wire because you have hardly any room to do it um, when uh, it's laying down on the side so just attach this wire so there you go there you have it this is uh, what it should sound like, humming like a diesel engine. Did that and uh, it fixed it. So I hope this helps you with your problem.